we are going to make few videos related to dotnet internals and windows debugging in each session we will cover a dotnet internal topic and try to prove that particular concept using a live debugging session so that we can also learn windbg commands so here we are discussing a concept compacting the heaps we know that dotnet heap has been parted into three heap generations generation 0 generation 1 and two heap regions out of which gen 0 and gen 1 ha carry a special character that these heap regions would get compacted after a gc operation where gen 2 and loh loh is a place where large objects get stored are the heap regions would not get compacted after the gc let's try to prove this particular thing in using a demo sample before that this is a pictorial representation a gc happened on gen 0 heap when the gc comes unreference object will be deleted by the gc and referred object will be moved to the next heap section gen 1 this we have discussed in our previous sample so due to that we can see that out of six object they get either deleted or moved so this memory block became vacant the vacant memory block will be moved to the general memory pool so that gen 0 will be squeezed or compacted after a gc operation we can see gen 1 would get expanded because it gets more objects so we'll try to see this particular scene, uh, pheno, uh, phenomenon using a uh, sample so here is my uh, test application where we have made so many demo scenarios to prove deb to prove CLR theorems so here I am taking compacting the heaps I am creating 10,000 dotnet objects apple objects when a new object gets created we have learned that the object will go and lie in the generation 0 heap region right we will examine the dotnet memory of this particular application for that we have to connect this application with the live debugging I am opening a Win32 debugger because this is a Win32 application. So in order to do live debugging, I have to attach the process. Attaching my test application simulate box. Okay, now the application is been attached to the debugger, and the next step we have to load a DLL. SOS is a DLL which contain .NET debugging commands. So prior doing to any .NET debugging using Windows debugger, we have to load this particular SOS. SOS has been loaded. Now in this demo, our interest is to verify the heaps and their sizes. So there is a command heapstat. We can see the all three generations and the LOH the gen 0 heap size is huge and gen 1 is 12 bytes very minimal bytes gen 2 also contain very minimal bytes in size this is uh, we can understand why this has been more this one we have created 10,000 heap objects and every fresh object comes here right actually this is a before garbage collection situation the memory so we wanted to see after a garbage collection what happens to this memory so we will try to mimic a garbage collection right now on the application first of all let's do a g go command to give the control back to the application currently applications control is been taken by the windows debugger right so debugger gives back the control here i am going to force a gc uh, usually forcing a gc is not recommended in dotnet uh, applications but i want to mimic uh, a gc happening uh, then only i can proceed with this demo so i am just trying to do a gc so gc action happened on this application right now right so now we can see after the gc condition of the memory for that i have to reconnect back debug break so that application control got back into the debugger I can apply the command heap stat I'm again doing this because previously we have done and we saw that now the result compare the both result gen 0 he had this much huge memory size 
and it has been stringed, it has been compacted into 40,000, right? And another interesting factor is Gen 1 is only 12 bytes and Gen 1 is now 83, uh, 8,36,000. So uh, the objects from the Gen 0 has been now moved to Gen 1 so that Gen 0 got shrinked. So this is our first uh, uh, proving, right? Gen 0, Heaprigen would get compacted. Even Gen 1 will get compacted. For that, we have to do one more GC. Let's do that. We are doing the same process right now. Go command to give control back to the application. I'm doing one more GC. Okay, press it. So now, again, giving back to control. Keep stat. You can see that 83,000 or 8,36,000 has been now 49,000. So it is also shrinked. Okay. And Gen 2 got more objects because it was only 12 bytes. Objects from Gen 1 moved to Gen 2. So in this example, we have proved Gen 1 and Gen 0 object will get compacted after the GC. We will come up with more examples uh, with the Gen 2 and LOH later. So currently, uh, this is the sample explaining this theory. And we would also request, you, if you like this particular demo, uh, we would request our users to subscribe. Thank you.